ever since I first heard that you shouldn't put liquid detergent in a dishwashing machine, I wanted to try it. And now with the kitchen renovation, I actually find myself having a really beaten up old dishwasher that no one really wants. So let's experiment with it. I read online that you should put like three drops and a lot of baking soda and that could work. But what's the fun in that? Let's put a rich amount. I don't know how many drops this is. Some in here as well. And see how well that fares. Oh yeah, um, let's put in a cup for good measurement. To see how that works. Oh, and you might wonder why there's a lid taped over here. That's because you don't want the kids uh, changing the settings on your machine while it's running. Because that's really, really, really annoying. Now it's set to 70 degrees Celsius, that is, proper degrees. Did you know that Celsius was a Swedish astronomer? Yeah, we like to measure things in a reasonable way. So, uh, oh yeah, um, the bucket uh, was used when we had this dishwasher standing here on the patio while doing the kitchen renovation and it, it filled up, you can see, probably see uh, the lines, how much the water came in. I think it was like 17, 18 liters or something like that from a dish like this. So let's try it out. So far, so good. This isn't something you want to see on your dishwasher. Good thing this experiment is taking place in grass. But it really smells fresh. Foam party! Now this is really not a good sign. <laughs> what we do for science. It's a foamy, foamy paradise in there.
leakage. Don't really know where this is coming from. Guess it might be the hatch. It's probably it. There's also some water escaping. It's not a good idea. I was hoping for a little more mayhem outside of the dishwasher, but I guess this is plenty of mayhem inside it. Basically, don't push, don't put washing up liquid inside your dishwasher. The cup is clean at least, so that's, that's a plus. <laughs> 